now we're going to uh, to show you briefly something that we warmed up with. They didn't know we were going to do this because it's improv, uh, but they got this. They, we did this over and over again uh, because one of the foundations, cornerstones of improv is the idea of yes and. Uh, because improv is about agreement. We're working together to build something, and if people are denying each other, it doesn't work. The whole thing kind of crumbles. So improv is about agreement, saying yes to your partner, and then building on the pertinent information. And so we did an exercise that we call yes and. The way this works is we're going to start here with Will. Will is going to say any declarative <coughs> statement. And then down the line, they're going to say yes and because of that, and then build the story from there. They've never said this story before. This is happening right now. But this is a great example of the very basic structure of improv. I want to quit smoking. Yes, and because I want to quit smoking, I bought one of those big cigarettes. <laughs> yes, and because I bought one of those big cigarettes, everyone likes me. Yes, and because everyone likes me, now I have friends. <laughs> yes, and because now I have friends, I don't live in the gutter. <laughs> yes, and because I don't live in the gutter, in the gutter I live in a... Uh, Yes, and because I live in a mansion, uh, I'm not a friend of Tiger Woods. Yes, and now because I'm friends with Tiger Woods, I get free golf lessons. Yes, and because now I get free golf lessons, I am the pro of the local country. And now because I am the yes, and because I am the pro <laughs> at the local country club, I have a five different boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and because I picked up smoking again, I'm really rich, so I bought a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> yes, and because I bought a lot of cigarettes, I started selling them in the pro shop. Yes, and because I started selling them in the pro shop, I'm now a millionaire. Nice. There you go. Have to see how your life can change when you quit smoking and take it back. <laughs> Good. All right, we're going to do it again. This time we're going to start with Roger moving the opposite way. Any declarative statement, Roger? I'm very happy to be here. Yes, and because I'm very happy to be here today, I can't wait until it stops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I can't wait until it stops, I am going to go home and take a bath. Yes, and because I'm going to go home and take a bath, it's going to be the best bath ever. Yes, and because it's going to be the best bath ever, I am going to shave my entire body. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and because I took up stripping, I am the best stripper there ever was. <laughs> yes, and because I am the best stripper there ever was, I actually got trophies for it. <laughs> and, and because I got trophies for it, I got to meet the president and get the Nobel Peace Prize for the best stripper. <laughs> yes, and because I got to meet the president and got the Nobel Peace Prize for stripping. <laughs> They made a documentary film about my life, and uh, Matt Damon played me. Wow. <laughs>